pleased to be here this morning for the opening of this third conference of the Regional Centre for Mapping of Resources for Development and the fourth Afro-Geo Symposium. Your Excellency, thank you for coming and to grace this occasion. This workshop, Your Excellency, brings together participants from the academia, applications and software developers, hardware manufacturers, geospatial data producers, vendors, researchers and policy makers under the theme Earth Observations for Evidence-Based Decision Making. Your Excellency, this for us as a ministry is an important conference because science and technology is now at the center of decision making. It is important for all of us to come together to engage and to participate so that we inform policy and decisions that will inform how our governments are run, how we provide services to our people, and how we bequeath a better planet to future generations. Evidence-based decision making is of particular interest to the public, to Kenyans, because Your Excellency, we struggle with resources, not just in Kenya, but globally. Land is becoming scarce, and unless we use science to inform land use, then we'll have problems in deciding what to do with the challenges we face. This morning, some of you may have gotten here using Google Maps. This tells us that geospatial science is at the center of our decisions day to day. We use science every day. We may not use the complicated terms you scientists are using, but we are using science every day to make decisions that affect each and every one of us. We consider challenges, the challenges facing our society today to be critical and innovation central to solving these challenges. We want to use science and technology so that we have a society that is economically, socially, and environmentally sustainable for us all. Science and innovation is receiving greater attention and has gained prominence in supporting the Millennium Development Goals. In Kenya, the theme provides an excellent framework for our discussions to explore the impacts and benefits of emerging trends on policies for achieving sustainable development and our big four pillars for economic transformation that is food security, manufacturing, universal health coverage for all our citizens, and affordable housing. We can't do this without science and technology. Ladies and gentlemen, we need collective action to deal with global challenges in improving the world that we live in, the world we share, and the world that, as I said, will be good to future generations. I see enormous potential for countries in Eastern and Southern Africa for increasing agricultural productivity diversifying our value addition systems and our marketing channels. I see potential in planning smart smith cities and villages where our people deploy technology to live better in these spaces. We must strive to improve the management of our land resources with technology that is field operations for data acquisition, storage, and analysis. And to make it easier for our citizens to engage with government through science and technology. However, geospatial technologies alone cannot solve our problems. We must bring it to our people and engage with them. We must discuss it at the lowest unit, at our villages, in our towns, in our cities. So we must break down the complexities of science to daily decision making. We must also deliberately engage with governments because as scientists, we develop good products, good innovations, but unless, unless we engage with policymakers, it is difficult for us as governments to see the benefits of your innovations. I want to conclude by expressing my gratitude to the organizers of this conference, to UDG, to NASA, to USAID, and everybody who has participated, because it is such engagements that will bring solutions quicker to the communities that we serve. I am particularly grateful to the participants who've come here every year for the last three years to support us in bringing forward these innovations so that we can use them to develop and enrich policy. I wish all of you every success as you deliberate. We look forward 
to the outcome of your deliberations because as government, we would like to engage with you and use your innovations to better serve our people. It is now my duty and honor to invite you, Your Excellency, to address the congregation. Thank you.